and recording. So in a couple of different videos that I've done so far, I've had a couple comments of people suggesting the band Epica uh, or just saying that members of a band I'm reacting to are originally from Epica or play with them or toured with them. Uh, and it's a name I've heard before, but I don't think I've ever heard any of their music. So I'm very curious to see what they sound like. Uh, I just did a quick search on YouTube and Storm the Sorrow was the first thing that came up. Uh, it looks like they're also part of Nuclear Blast Records. A bunch of the bands I've been doing recently are part of that label. So I might actually just have to go to their website and see who else is part of the label and add them to the list. But... <laughs> So right off the bat, she reminds me a lot of Floor from Nightwish. Like her voice sounds a lot like Floor. Not exactly. And I think it more has to do with the way she's approaching the song and approaching the singing. Uh, it also helps that the background is very like orchestral and symphonic with the heavy chugging riffs. So... Reminds me of Nightwish. <laughs>
That was great. That was great. I especially liked um, the sort of pre-chorus portion with the toms, uh, sort of speeding triplets that they were doing with the orchestral background. The dun, 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 dun. It, it, funny enough, gave it an epic kind of sound. Um, I'm assuming this is like a Norwegian band. I only say that based off the iconography that I was seeing, like the wolves, um, the, I guess it was meant to be a raven, but it looked more like an eagle, all in black. It was interesting. And I was not expecting the male singer. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be the female singer. So when he came in with the deep, dark growl, that, it like washed over me like, ah, <laughs> it was so pleasant. I enjoyed that so much. Um, that style of growling is one of my favorites because it adds so much to the music from like a percussive element. Uh, I don't pay too much attention to the lyrics the first time around. So I just view the voice as a tool and as an instrument. So that sounded so good. And then having uh, the female vocal behind it. Ooh. Very, very good. Uh, this one was only five minutes. So I'm wondering if they have more complicated, more highly constructed, intricate kind of songs. Uh, I imagine they probably do. A good eight-minute song warms my spirit. <laughs> uh, but everything about this was exactly what I love and when exactly what I'm looking for at the moment just big chugging riffs excellent drumming very nice sounding vocals the uh, quality of the voices I think I'm kind of spoiled now like I like all these bands that I'm hearing that have a female singer and a male singer and just the dual voice, that dynamic. I'm, I'm so used to uh, regular bands with the, just the one singer. And they're usually good. But like a lot of the stuff I'm hearing like recently, the interplay with the, a man and a woman's voice, it's, it just adds another dimension. Yeah, th this was good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to this band. <laughs> 